Hey everyone, so today we will be talking about electric current. And the first thing we're going to do is talk about what provides this such basic phenomena of electrical engineering. So to start off, we have to recognize and understand the concept of charges in an electric field. So say we have two charges, one with a positive charge, the other one with a negative charge. And since there are two different charges with two different polarities, there is going to be an electric field that's going to be induced. So there's going to be some electric field lines that go from the positive charge to the negative charge. So let me draw some arrows right here to illustrate what I'm talking about. So we have these electric field lines. We have two different charges here. And this electric field line will cause it to experience a force when placed in a field. So we have forces coming from here. There's going to be like a force, interaction of force between these two charges, such as Newton's universal gravitational law. Kind of resembles it, right? So now we know the basis of charges. And here's some statistics about charge is that it's measured in coulombs with a C and coulomb is equal to the amount of charge transported in one second And we also need to know that in this electric field, the only thing that is moving are electrons. So we have to take electrons in consideration. And one coulomb is equal to billions, if not trillions and trillions of electrons. More particularly, 10 to the power of 18 electrons. and one electron itself is equal to a minuscule of a single charge. More particularly, one electron is equal to 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And we also have to consider negative here because an electron is a negative charge. So taking all of this knowledge together about electric charges, coulombs and electrons now we can touch the basis of an electric current and, and an electric current according to wikipedia is the flow of electric charge an electric current is represented as the capital i and that equals to the change in electric charge dc with respect to time and in units, it is denoted as amperes, A. So now, since we know the basis of electric current, now let's apply this to an electric circuit, because as we know, uh, this is channel is about electrical engineering. So let's draw the simplest circuit with a battery and then two wires coming out from this battery and across this battery is a light bulb so here we have the light bulb and we here we have wires so what we do know is that using this equation the change in electric charge 
right here, as we know, there's a difference in charge because there's a higher potential and then a lower potential. So we have two different charges. And with respect to time, there's going to be an electric current produced. So say, for example, we have uh, in at initial time, T1 is equal to 0. The charge is for, say, um, in the beginning, here, the charge is 10 coulombs. So charge is 10 coulombs. And then for T2, it is 2 seconds. Thus, the charge, let's say, is around 15 coulombs. So utilizing all this knowledge together with dc over dt, we now can state that the current is simply taking the difference in coulomb divided by the, uh, the difference in time, and that would equal to 2.5 amperes. And applying this together, we'll state that in this circuit, there are 2.5 amperes along this wire and in this electric circuit, so 2.5 amps. And we know that Coulomb, we, we know that electric current is following the direction of uh, the electric charge. So that is why you see we here we have these electric field lines. The electric current is following the same direction as to what it is. So it goes from the higher potential to the lower potential, as we see with these arrows. And now, remember when we talk, I talked about electrons? Well, electrons itself is, I've stated, is the negative, is equal to a minuscule of charge and is also a negative part of it. So what that means is that electrons are actually traveling from the lower potential to the higher potential. So let me draw like a mirage of these electrons traveling. So these electrons are opposing the direction of where what the current is. And this is the basis of an electric current. To sum it up, electric current is the flow of electric charge. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to check out electric voltage or electric resistance, click on the annotation in the video. And if you want to watch even more utilizing the knowledge of all three components, check out Ohm's Law.